Good evening, thanks for joining us. I'm Don Nelson. And I'm Michelle Edmonds. A bill to ban sanctuary cities from forming in Idaho and require law enforcement to cooperate with federal immigration authorities was introduced to the legislature today. Representative Greg Cheney of Caldwell says his bill is about safety and security. Six on your side, Marissa Morrison has reaction from the state house. Representative Greg Cheney introduced his bill to the House State Affairs Committee Monday morning. Some of the reaction already has made me keenly aware of, of some of the emotion behind this issue. The bill would cut off state sales tax funding for sanctuary cities and would require law enforcement agencies to cooperate with federal immigration laws. Cheney says the bill does not allow local law enforcement officers to arrest or round up suspects solely for immigration violations. This bill doesn't address the refugee uh, settlement program at all. It addresses those who don't have a legal right to be here, and, and all the refugees are given a legal right to be here. Currently, there are no sanctuary cities in Idaho, and law enforcement agencies already cooperate with immigration authorities. I mean, entirely unnecessary, this bill. Representative Paulette Jordan was the only dissenting vote on introducing the legislation in committee. I think that when we look at this legislation, we have to look at all of the unintended consequences, and part of that unintended consequence will be what the uh, impacts will be for immigrants who are employed by uh, our dairy farmers, our ag farmers, uh, you name it. Jordan says she believes cities should be able to decide on their own if they want to become sanctuaries for immigrants. As we see this uh, rise in sanctuary cities across the nation, I fully support those sanctuary cities, but I also fully support local control. We're leaving it in the hands of the federal government. This is a federal issue, and we're just letting the cities and counties no, or remind the cities and counties of that fact. Reporting inside the State House, Marissa Morrison, six on your side. Representative Cheney says this bill is not a response to President Trump's immigration ban and says he has been working on this for a while now. The bill must now pass a full legislative hearing.